This is the video for the Universal Curette. I'm going to be using the Columbia 1314. This is the handle, this is the terminal shank, and this is the working end, otherwise known as the toe, and it's used to go subgingival. Okay, the face of the blade has a 90 degree angle to the terminal shank with two cutting edges and a rounded toe. For this instrument, we use the modified pen grasp, and the thumb and the index finger are used to roll the instrument. The middle finger is used for sensory feedback and the ring finger is used as the fulcrum. It's used for stability on the occlusal or incisal surface. Indications for this instrument are subgingival calculus, small to moderate, and the contraindications is that it should not be used on green stain because of the underlying demineralized enamel. So when you close the blade on the instrument, it should be four, 0 to 40 degrees. And so you insert, close on the instrument, you insert, then you open. And then on enamel, it's 70 to 80. And on cementum, it's 60 to 70 degrees. When starting instrumentation, you always start on the most distal tooth. To find the right working end, the terminal shank should stand towards the long axis of the tooth. And this is wrong because it's hugging the tooth and now this is correct and you can always check with b to the d so when inserting the instrument you close insert and open while staying subgingival so you close insert and open close on the tooth open
So for anterior maxillary, you want to do the bump to the tooth to uh, see which way your, your instrument is working. And this is the right working end.